Wow, it is absolutely titanic. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very, 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 very long overdue episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. As you can tell by the sound, the music you can hear in the background, and I'm trying my best to sort of showcase it, we are going into the ocean because Jurassic World Evolution 2 really needed something to snatch itself from the jaws of obscurity, and that has come in the form of mods. That is right, mods are back. I don't know how they do it, but they've managed to find a way what was on the Nexus website, and that's where all these mods are put up. I was like, I can't, oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Because there's something that I love, it is of course dinosaurs, but there's something I love more than dinosaurs, and that is what was going on in the ocean. Like freaking Nigel Marvin, I'd love to die, take a dive into the prehistoric waters and just have a little swim about. So, we have got one, two, three, four, five incubators worth of different species. That's five each. That's five, 10, 50, 20, 25. <laughs> 25 different ones. And there is still more coming because there's been like, they've showcased other ones previously that aren't in here at the moment. So it just seems like the flood <laughs> It just seems like the floodgates, <laughs> pardon the pun, have uh, well and truly completely opened uh, for this game. And I cannot wait to dive in. Now, now, last time we did something similar to this when we released all of the aquatic creatures, um, we had a little bit of a problem because they would not attack each other. They were too like cramped or I don't know, the AI wasn't fleshed out enough. Um, and the reason why I haven't made uh, videos on Jurassic World Evolution 2 recently that you may have noticed is because there's a glitch in the current update. Basically it would crash uh, if you put too many dinosaurs in at the same time and they were it was something to do with the territories. Uh, so I'm still kind of waiting for the new update to come. Yay! <laughs> uh, but... We are here, and as you can see, we got a zebra shark, Zephactinus, yeah! white marlin, freaking fish. This is beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, so we're going to release the zebra shark. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Oh, they're so small. Bless them. Now, a lot of these creatures have the, um, the what you call it, the anatomy of the ophthalmosaur because it's very basic, it's like a fishy, you know, anatomy, and you know, you don't even have to rig the mouth, you can just rig it to the, the base, I'm assuming. But look at it, this is so cool, I mean, this is huge, right? So, I don't know how, how much the uh, mods, or the people who've made the mods, uh, have thought into this, but, you know, if I was them, I would make this, you know, it doesn't need any space at all. Like one lagoon and it's it's maxed out. You, you've been in an aquarium before, right? You've seen sharks and fish. Look at this. It's like a freaking ocean for them. I mean, obviously it's not, but like they're, they're in much smaller spaces in an aquarium and they're completely fine. So something like this. Oh, it's like a reserve. <laughs> so if I was them, I would I would like put that in. Already it's it's sort of scouting out its area and it's it's kind of happy. But really that red needs to be like that much. And as soon as it's released, it should be fine. So with the zebra shark, let's release the next one. The Zephactinus. Jesus, freaking Godzilla! <laughs> what was that noise? Okay, well here it is, a lot bigger. Um, now there's a famous fossil of Zephactinus um, that was found eating another Zephactinus, because what they would do, or we assume now after that fossil was discovered, is that they would gulp down their prey whole. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see that they're streamlined. It's like straight away, oh, that once that trapdoor mouth opens, boom! Yeah, the prey's gone, and boy, howdy, it swallowed down that big gaping maw. But uh, yeah, there's a fact in us, another nice one to look at, but we've got plenty more fish in the sea. <laughs> uh, we've got a white marlin, which is, you know, marlin are big fish. Sailfish in general are quite big. So yeah, it's I think it's like bigger than a zebra shark, but just the fact that, you know, you could have these sorts of fish in an aquarium or in, you know, a lagoon just adds an extra layer to it. I mean, I know they've put some decorations in that have allowed you to, uh, you know, they've put like tiny little fish that go around in a circle, but they're 2D. Just, but just having something like this, you know, in a Mosasaur exhibit, you know, just, just a few fish that maybe swim about or a few sharks. 
um, really just help, you know, lend a little bit of believability. Look at it. Oh, it's huge. Gitnormous. Nick. Yes. <laughs> so already, if we go on map, uh, yeah, we've got Brachiosaurus. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, but it's starting to fill up and we haven't even released all of them. Uh, so, yeah, I make, I mean, this game might crash. I don't know. We'll find out. But we're going to enjoy it while... I can't believe it just crashed. <laughs> I want to be able to record Jurassic World Evolution 2. I do. I really do. I want to be able to record it. It just doesn't want to be recorded by me. <laughs> All right, well, we'll ignore... I mean, the only thing we're releasing are Tyler Source 6, so yeah, we'll ignore those. Or well, we'll move on to the next one. This is very interesting. This was a Shonasaurus. Now, Shonasaurus was one of the biggest... Um, Plesiosaurs that ever existed, or um, ichthyosaurs, sorry, not plesiosaurs. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. Wow, it is absolutely titanic. Now, I don't know if it was really this big, but if it was, good god, that is glorious. So, is this basically a mosasaur? Oh, that would be so cool. I think it might be. Hold on, let's have a look at... Uh, oh, God, wow, its area needs to be absolutely ginormous or else it is not happy. Wow, okay. That must mean that it, it probably goes up to eat from one of these sharks. Ooh, we'll have to see that. Right, with that being said, you know, we've seen the, the, the other things. We'll not release any Moses or Tylus or regular things, but we'll release things we haven't seen before because I don't know how much time I've got before the game goes... No. <laughs> uh, this is a mahi mahi, also known as a dolphin fish. I think a lot of Americans, or at least I remember in Florida, it was like, oh, you can have dolphin fish. I was like, what, actual dolphin? No, 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 mahi mahi. Um, I think they're getting more and more endangered as, uh, as time's regressing, but I might be wrong. I think most wildlife generally is now endangered because we do such a good, uh, good we take such good care of the environment. Uh, and now this, yes, freaking if it's not Megalodon, if it's not Mosasaur, that's your favorite prehistoric creature. Friggin' Leviathan, man. The huge whale. Oh, that looks so cool. What? Oh, I love it. <gasps> wow. Oh. Oh, my God. Just to see a whale in, in this sort of graphics, in this environment? When... When, apart from, you know, maybe Assassin's Creed or something, you see a whale in the distance sort of thing. But, oh, this is so cool. It's really well designed. I wonder if they just take the models and uh, and uh, put them on, you know, take them from a different game, put them in this. But this, no, this looks really cool. Wow. I wonder if you can change the, uh, the colorings on them. If not, that is just magnificent. Look at that. That's so Man, I want to be able to have Megalodon, Leviathan, Mosul, you know, the, the, all the apex of all prehistoric oceans. And, uh, oh, hold on. Ooh, we've got, we've got it eating a shark. Yes. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh, yum, yum. Although it, 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 it <laughs> didn't get it. That's very interesting. Okay. Its health's really low. Why is, why is your health though? Was it, was it the, uh, the food? Had you not found your food? Yes, it was. Okay, there was that. Okay, sweet. So what other things does Beaver have up his sleeve? Well, you saw the sailfish, but what about an Indo-Pacific sailfish? This one more iconic because of its ginormous sail. Or at least this is an Indo-Pacific sailfish. Last time we released a marlin, kind of different, but still, wow, they are definitely panicking. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, they're not having a great time. <laughs> but, I mean, so would you if you... Wait, what? You shouldn't be panicking. There's nothing here to panic about. Oh, the Leviathan eats the shark as well. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, that is great. <laughs> oh, wow. Did it actually eat it? It did. Okay, for some reason, the... um. The Shonasaur didn't eat it, but the whale did. Oh, that was brilliant. Yes. So it must have the, um, not the Tylosaur animation. It must have a different one. I think that was the Chronosaur. Yeah, the Chronosaur was able to do that. Um, but, I mean, it, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The one, the only, pump head grass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at him with his big googly eyes. Oh, it's so good. 
But again, you know, if you just want that little bit of realism, you know, when it comes to an aquarium, just having, you know, a fish, a different variety of fish. And what would be really cool to do with this is, you know, not only to have all these different types of fish, but, you know, you could recreate different oceans and you could have a whole park that is dedicated to just aquatic life. You can be like, oh, that's the Cenozoic Ocean, and this is um, the, you know, the Miocene Ocean. Mod gods, that's what you should call yourselves. Anyway, anyway, we're still not done because we've got at least one or two more before the game decides to um, uh, cake out on me, or I don't know, just die. <laughs> Helicoprion with its more... I mean, I'd say it's more accurate. I don't know. These things change all the time. This helicopter has been sort of put out there since 2015 even, I think. Um, so it might have changed since then. I don't know. But anyway, we've got a, uh, you know, another shark with a really, really, really weird mouth. Yes, very strange. Uh, Shonosaurus is also dying again because uh, apparently it can't eat the sharks fast enough. Uh, but not only do you have helicopter in a prehistoric shark, but you can have modern sharks! You can have hammerheads! Oh yes, look at them! Weird, weird sharks. Now, they're supposed to be incredibly, well, not as incredibly aggressive as a, a bull shark per se, but, you know, hammerheads are known to be a little bit more aggressive than an average shark. Not too sure why. I think maybe they think you just look at them funny because your eyes are in the middle of your head. Obviously, a, a hammerhead doesn't have that. It's like, your eyes are far too close together. Kill it! <laughs> But yeah, fine. You wouldn't think as well with the mouth being on the bottom. It's like, how does it even bite you? Like, it can't get to you because the thing's in the way. Um, but I don't want to put that up to the test. I don't want to, you know, be like, I bet you can't bite me and then uh, then I die. Uh, so yes, we'll ignore that. But no, we've got even more things to release. Blank. This is just blank. I love it. I think this is a gariel, I think it is. Uh, which is, uh, well, this is a ginormous gariel. Uh, there's also like, I mean, we've seen things in the past which... Um, were maybe modeled or like rigged a little bit better than this one is because it's very stiff. Oh, there the Shonosaur, it's dead. There it goes. Right, I just couldn't eat enough. <laughs> That's why it went extinct. It's right there. But look at this, you got the fish and everything. What I wanted to do was release all of this and then take the little, um, the little drone out, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that with the game crashing all the time. But they, I don't know if this is new, but that's the T-Rex crate or cage from The Lost World, as well as the Jurassic Park 3 one. And maybe it was in uh, there, but I think maybe they had a little tiny bit of an update and they added that in for any eagle-eyed fans. But wow, they just look so cool. They look so cool. It's, it's not hard to put aquatic creatures in, right? Like to rig them, you just do, it's, it's a slow thing. Although I have, I have animated a seal going through water and actually replicating the, you know, a water physic isn't as easy as you think. So I should shut up. <laughs> but here we go, the classic. It doesn't matter what month it is on YouTube. I have one video that is always in my top 10 and it's a freak, it's, it's something to do with turtles. <laughs> it's always turtles getting eaten whole or a turtle tournament. God knows the alliteration. I think maybe that's why people like him, but there's, there's always a turtle. I don't know, I don't know why, but there is. So here we go. Hopefully, a fingers crossed, pray to the turtle gods will get views on this one. <laughs> but as you can see, we're, we're, we're yeah, we got a lot of brachiosaurs in here. A lot of brachiosaurs. And, you know, we've had it. I think, I wonder if they use the actual Great White Shark model that's already in the game, because that would be a, you know, it, it saves them a little bit of time. But a Great White Shark, which kind of looks, you know, a similar size to most other sharks, if I've got to be honest. Maybe that's a great hammerhead. I, I can't remember, because you've got different types of hammerhead. Like scalloped hammerhead, freaking oceanic, God knows what else. Yes, oh, it looks so cool. Look at this. Maybe there was a glitch with the Tylosaur, actually. Maybe that's what crashed it, because we have got a bunch of different creatures in here, and yet... Oh, can I just, can I just... I, w I want to be in the water now. I just, oh, that would be that would be a dream, wouldn't it? Like coming face to face with a with a, a sperm whale. Oh, I'd be absolutely terrified, but I'd love to do it. <laughs> I've heard like now I'm assuming maybe the Leviathan hunted a similar way that the sperm whale did, which was like putting out um, sonar and he uh, getting the the 
vibrations back. But apparently, if you've ever been in the water with a sperm whale, its clicks are so loud that they, they, you know, they vibrate through your entire body and they're super loud. Uh, so, you know, if they wanted to, they could probably stun you with a click. Um, but yeah, man. Oh, 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 look at this. It's so good. So good to freaking get it. Ah, it's brilliant. Anyway, 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 we're getting far too ahead of us. We've still got plenty more to see. We've got another blank. Is it going to crash the game? Maybe. I don't know. But here it is. I think this is a goopily fish with those eyes. Good God. Uh, this is a oar fish, I think it is. Uh, some of you guys might know. You may have played Animal Crossing. Um, it's a it's quite rare fish in there, but I think it's found deep down in the ocean. Uh, wow, yes. And it's 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 a hard thing to rig. <laughs> it would, you know, it would definitely be good with a spline tool. But of course, the, the moderators or the mods makers have only got so much to work with. And... Well, as you can quite clearly see, this this is all they can they can use is, is is this sort of thing. And still, the only thing to die is the Shonosaurus, which is so weird. It was just so weird. The whales don't seem to have a problem. They're easy eating the shark, but a little Shoney or a big Shoney struggled with that. Uh, maybe it's not meant to eat sharks. Mm, maybe, maybe. Anyway, we're still not done because we've got Carterinkus. Which is by far the tiniest thing. I love it that they've actually put, like, that they must have put some sound effects on these creatures. But look at it. It is so small. It, is, it isn't even rigged. Its model is not rigged. I think it's, it's on one joint. So it literally goes like that. Oh, it's brilliant. Bless it. And even, maybe it is actually quite small. You forget with the scale of this, you know, this aquarium and this environment that they are... You know, everything in here is pretty ginormous. Uh, but I've saved the best for last. Not only it's, uh, you know, we've got these prehistoric creatures. We've got an invertebrate, a Nomalacaris, one of, you know, the world's first ever apex predators uh, with, you know, a mouth, would you believe? <laughs> oh, they look amazing. Look at it. Wow. It is actually kind of a little bit rigged. Like it's not completely all you know stationary and it just kind of does that there is a little bit of a bend maybe it's got two joints in there oh wow look i want to get a good close-up of that mouth Ooh it's terrifying oh god doesn't really resemble much of a mouth does it it's more like a butthole or something <laughs> we'll put surfactinus back in I feel like it was probably the Tylosaur that broke it. I'm not too sure why. We'll put those guys back in and then we'll turn on attacking and stuff and just see how it goes. Oh my god, I, I literally just turned this on and already this uh, this, this crocodile... Oh, yep, it, 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 I think it's killed an oarfish. Oh my... Oh, three things have died already. Good god. Oh, well, no, that's already died. But there was something else that's dead over here. What the, what the, what, what, what is, something's dead, hold on, probably best if I click on this, what, what died, was it a, <gasps> no, an anomaly car has died, you were literally the, f the newest thing in here, okay, right, so things are dying pretty quick, what I would like to do is take control of the drone, yes, oh, look at this, this is so cool, uh, it's just like Nigel Marvin, the closest I'll ever get, <laughs> Health is going down, but it's got nothing to do with food or stamina. It might have whacked itself on the side of the tank. And it's amazing. You know, we've come so far that now, you know, these these uh, aquatic creatures will do that. And the, before they were like, oh, well, you just stick them in there. And does it really matter? Not really. They can just kind of do whatever they want. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's like, I died first. Yes. So we've got five deaths already. I don't know what this whale is doing. It's probably going to line up the shark. Or maybe you are. Do we have... Do we only... Oh, we only have two whales. But... Oh. Oh, the rig. You know what? It kind of... It kind of works. You wouldn't have thought that this was a mod. You think, oh, but this could be legit. Oh. 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 It looked like they kind of had an interaction there. I know that species can have interactions with the same sorts of species, but... Uh, oh. Oh, look at the mouth there. Wait, what? Did it just die? <laughs> What just happened? It just died! Hunted down by zero zero. Oh, it must have been the Gariel or something. No! It just like, I guess I died. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been so cool to have seen it do something. Oh, 
Oh, God. Oh, it's got something so wrong with it that it's losing health, too. There's a lot of scratches on it. Is it trying to... I don't know. I don't know what this thing's doing. I really don't. <laughs> you know what it is? It doesn't like being in captivity. We shouldn't have whales and dolphins in captivity. This is proof Whee! that they go nuts. Yeah, I don't even know what this thing's doing, man. It's kind of now just going around in circles. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to kill things and look cool doing it. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, I don't want to scan it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Q... There it is. Yeah! <laughs> can shoot them all! <laughs> it's like it's coming right for us! Yeah! You know how they attack the helicopters? Oh, you should have them attack drones, man. That would be awesome. Is it just uh oh, okay. Bye! <laughs> it gets called up to space. <gasps> do do you, oh you have to then airlift them if they have a problem. Ah, Look at it, it's like a giant hippo, but a whale. I love the detail on this is all, this, this is by far my favorite. Close second is Humpedras. We, we cannot argue with the flawlessness of a Humpedras, as you can see quite clearly right here. Although the Gyriel, for some other reason, is absolutely ginormous and is able to kill, I think, everything. Let's see the awesomeness that is this tank. Oh, there's one! <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, Leviathan is hunting down Humphead Rass! Oh, what a shot! I don't even know where the Humphead Rass is. Oh, 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 I think. Wait, did it do it? I think it did. There was a Rass here a second ago, and then I think it ain't it, so there you go. <laughs> For some odd reason, they're not even lining up as if, you know, it's an Ophthalmosaur. They're, they're weirdly off center, and I don't know why that is. It's not like the animation even continues like it's eating it, which I think it kind of does. It just sort of glitches, which is strange. Why haven't I been doing this? Friggin' capture mode is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Look at it. It's like a giant shrimp. You don't know whether you're coming or going. In fact, a lot of you don't. I think he's also going around in circles. Yes, he is. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that shot, man. That looks awesome. <laughs> Look at its eyes. It's coming right for us. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, the giant silhouette. You know, this is very clean water. If this was the ocean, I wouldn't even be able to see that, I think. Oh, I love that you can just go. That's great. Like you just made like a huge aquarium. You could do that for ages. The only thing is that because these uh, are all modeled after the Ophthalmosaur, there's not much shoaling that goes on. Like they're all sort of just like separate. You think if there was Mahi Mahi, maybe they would like go together, especially with the Humphead Ras or something. But they're all very individualistic. Like there's not like a friendly animation where they all shoal together. So. Frontier, if you listen. Oh, what? Oh, what's do? What's happening there? I, I think it ate something. I don't, I don't know what it was, but again, didn't see it. <laughs> but Frontier, if you're listening, like put in some that shoals, and then everyone can just like mod and put uh, other like fish onto it. It'd be great. You please do that. Not another sticks or so. We don't want that. Oh, oh, you're going for it. I think you might. Oh, there's the dead one. <laughs> Stinky. Oh yes. It's a bloody shame the animation's broken though. <laughs> Cause that would look amazing. Oh, 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 it might do. Oh, oh, maybe we're gonna look, not look too bad. Uh, leop. It's like Free Willy. Oh, oh it's in my eyes. <laughs> Bye. Whoa, look at those teeth, man. Terrifying. Whoa, whoa let's see this. I wanna see the whale. Come on, whale. Yes. Oh, look at it dangle. Dingle dangle and boosh. Unfortunately, doesn't really have much of a, or any of the shark at all, but at least it eats. That's the important thing. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to like, um, you know, the creatures, uh, lagoon creatures in this game, it definitely feels like they've been left out somewhat because even the pteranodons, they can, you know, they can break out, they can attack other dinosaurs, they can pick up guests. Whereas when it comes to the lagoon, 
there's kind of not much you could really do. Um, some more unique animations would be quite cool. Maybe, you know, if a dinosaur was airlifted over a lagoon, the bigger dinosaurs would eat it and, and stuff like that. Uh, but the potential is definitely there. I feel like if we had just an update that focused on, you know, maybe just giving a better life to the aquatic creatures. It would really help because it shows, you know, all these mods that have came out for aquatic creatures. There is love for them. They are one of the most fascinating types of animals that you can have in Jurassic World Evolution 2. It's a shame that they are really kind of just relegated to you know, a fish tank. And it's like, oh, you can put different things in the fish tank. That's kind of it. Because they could be so much more than that. I mean, even just seeing like a leviathan, a huge whale, you know, maybe decorations on the side of it so it's not just blank. I don't know. There's so much we can see and do and potential here. It's whether or not Frontier decides to follow through with them. But anyway, guys, leave your comments in the comments down below. Do you think these creatures would make a good addition to Jurassic World Evolution 2 in a DLC? Or, you know, be nice if it's a free update, of course. I love you and leave you guys. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye